Uh, Scooter came to us about 11 months ago. He was a six pound cub. Uh, came from Alaska. They found him wandering around by himself. And uh, Alaska Game and Fish Department called us. We went and got him. Uh, when he was uh, young, when he was three or four months old, he was just all teeth and claws. This is a scamp coming up now. Come here, scamp. Scamp is a two and a half year old a cub that all very. He also came from Alaska. Scamp, come over here and have a peanut party. Come on, come on, it's a peanut party. Come on, scamp. Come on, come on, scamp. Peanut time. Come on. Come on, scamp. Peanut time. So Scamp's two and a half, Scooter and Greta there are a year and a half. And as I started to say, Scooter was just a terror when he was young. Uh, he'd scratch you and bite you, it's all just bare play. It wasn't being aggressive, but he wasn't much fun to be with at that time. Uh, and then as, as he got older and he got more secure and trusting, he's gotten to be a very gentle, lovable bear. Uh, see, Scamp here wants to hold my hand. Uh, the bears are very touchy. They're very affectionate when they when they trust you and feel secure and content around you. They very much uh, like to be touched and like to be close to you. Uh, black bears generally, uh, unlike a lot of their uh, image. If they're not, don't feel threatened and they don't feel defensive, uh, they're really pretty, pretty general lovable animals. Uh, it's only that very occasional bear that'll be uh, aggressive without cause. Uh, but uh, scooters are kind of a pride and joy because he's come such a long way from such a small size and age. He's now, as you notice, not that much smaller than uh, Scamp, who's a year older. Uh, Greta is Scooter's age. When she came here, she came uh, originally from Indiana. When she came here, uh, she was a lot bigger than Scooter, but obviously he's uh, shot right up past her. Uh, she's very affectionate and lovable, too. Uh, all three of these guys are just probably the happiest uh, bear cubs one can find anywhere. They've got everything they want. They've got this huge area so they don't feel like they got five acres here so they don't feel like they're captive bears. And uh, uh, they've got all the food they want provided for them. People that spend time with them give them a sense of security and trust and comfort so uh, they can just sit back and enjoy a bear childhood and it's fun to watch them. Uh, this peanut party we're having right now is kind of a routine that we do uh, towards the end of my time out here. And it's a very social time. It's like, like a tea party or, or, or a bunch of guys getting together to uh, have a drink in the afternoon. They've got peanuts that left over from lunch. So they're not hungry and they don't, they're not looking for peanuts. They're really, this is really a social time. Uh, we do this all the time. They, and we always just sit here in a circle and uh, they enjoy the social, social part of it, as I say, just about as much as they do the, uh, the peanuts. And they look forward to it and uh, I do too. It's, uh, it's a great time to interact and just spend time together.